So what I have to show you guys today is actually pretty cool. I made a way to have like pin codes like from your keyboard. So if I were to type one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, kind of long, but cause a Death Star to come down and blow up that building. They didn't even stand a chance. Well, if we decide to go back down because they're like, hey, we don't like you blowing up our buildings, we want to attack you guys, I can escape to my bunker, one, two, seven, five, seven. Some stairs will appear, and I can go down here and show you how it works. So, what's really cool about this is that it's really simple and it's just a repeating pattern. This is the one for the, uh, the Death Star laser, and this is the one for the stairs. All it is is the uh, slot selection thing. So, test four, person within a radius, that's just on the roof of the building, and then slot selection zero. You have to remember if you want one or two, it's always one less, so one would be zero, two would be one, etc. Now, I'm going to do tutorial for this, but I don't really think I need to, but in case you guys want to follow along, uh, here you go. So the code that we're going to do is 457. What you want to do is place your command blocks each two blocks apart from each other, and then put in your code. Now, since our first number is 4, you want to put in a 3. Our next number is 5, so you want to put in a 4. And for the last number, it's 7, so you guessed it, it's 6. Now what we want to do after that is place some blocks right beside the command blocks so that way we can put comparators on there to catch the output. Now we have to put blocks in front of it like this to put a repeater with two ticks. Now that's because of the pistons that we're going to put on right now. If it receives one tick, it's just going to spit the block out and we don't want that. That's just going to cause some weird things we don't want. So after that we put a block down here, a torch on this side. Now that's only for the first part, that's just the bit of a funky part right there. Whoops. Put more blocks here, like this. And now now this is going to be the repeating pattern. You want to put two repeaters like this, one repeater like that, and then redstone going like that. So now that you've continued the repeating pattern, all you need now is the output line, which you don't need one of these for. So what you want to do after that is then just place down some redstone across your command blocks and then you want a timer. What I'm going to use is one of these really fast uh, what's it? I don't even know what it's called. Red block timer? I think that's what it's called. I just like to use the glass because I don't like particles going everywhere. Once I place that down, it's going to continuously go around. So, if we were to do our code, which was 457, if I were to plus 4, and if I were to yeah, if I were to press 5, and then if I were to press 7, Yahtzee! I don't even know if I spelled that right, but who cares? It's cool. You can press as fast as you want, 4, 5, 7, like that. And it all works. There will be a download for this world, so enjoy.